Good morning again, folks and family. This is Raymond Exel Prophet again, here in Sunny Ocala, Florida, coming from my apartment bedroom. Today is Thursday, July 30th, 2020, at 11.15 a.m. And this is the Word for Day, Part 3, for April 26, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day, Part 3, April 26, 2020. This is the weekly sermon I have for you, uh, coming out of my new, my new King James Version Bible. And so, on April 25, 2020, 11.01 a.m. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> April, 5th, April 25, 2020, 11.01 p.m. The Holy District. The Holy District. Ezekiel, chapter 45, verses 1 through 5. Moreover, when you divide the land by lot into inheritance, you shall set apart a district for the Lord, a holy section of land, his length shall be 25,000 cubits, and the width 10,000. It shall be holy throughout his territory all around. Of this, there shall be a square plot for the sanctuary, 500 by 500 rods, with 50 cubits all around it, for an open space. So this is the district you shall measure, 25,000 cubits long and 10,000 wide. In it shall be the sanctuary, the most holy place. It shall be a holy section of the land, belonging to the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, who come near to minister to the Lord, it shall be a place for their houses and a holy place for the sanctuary. An area 25,000 cubits long and 10,000 wide shall belong to the Levites, the ministers of the temple. They shall have 20 chambers as a possession. April 25, 2020, 11.02 p.m. Properties of the city and the prince properties of the city and the prince. Ezekiel chapter 45 verses 6 through 8. You shall appoint as a property of the city an area 5,000 cubits wide and 25,000 long adjacent to the district of the holy section. It shall belong to the whole house of Israel. The prince shall have a section on one side and the other of the holy district and the city's property and bordering on the holy district and the city's property extending westward on the west side and eastward on the east side. The length shall be side by side with one of the tribal portions, from the west border to the east border. The land shall be his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no more oppress my people, but they shall give the rest of the land to the house of Israel, according to their tribes. April 25, 2020, 11.02 p.m. Laws governing the prince. Laws governing the prince. Ezekiel. Chapter 45, verses 9 through 17. Thus says the Lord God, Enough, O princes of Israel, remove violence and plundering, execute justice and righteousness, and stop dispossessing my people, says the Lord God. You shall have honest scales, an honest FF, and an honest bath. The FF and the bath shall be of the same measure, so that the bath contains one tenth of an omer, and the FF one tenth of an omer. The measure shall be according to the omer. The shekel shall be twenty deras, twenty shekels, twenty-five shekels, and fifteen shekels shall be your mina. This is the offering which you shall offer. You shall give one-sixth of an FF from an omer wheat, and one-sixth of an FF from an omer barley. The ordinance concerning oil, the bath of oil, is one-tenth of a bath from a core. A core is an omer, or ten baths, for ten baths are an omer. And one land shall be given from the flock of two hundred. For the rich patch of Israel, there shall be for grain offerings, burnt offerings, and peace offerings, to make atonement for them, says the Lord God. All the people of the land shall give this offering to the prince of Israel, and it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings, grain offerings, and drink offerings at the feasts, the new moons, the Sabbaths, and all the appointed seasons of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering, the grain offering, the burnt offering and the peace offerings to make atonement for the house of Israel. April 25, 2020, 11.04 p.m. Keeping the Feast. Keeping the Feast. Ezekiel chapter 45, verses 18 through 25. Thus says the Lord God, in the first month, on the first day of the month, you shall take a young bull without blemish and cleanse the sanctuary. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorpost of the temple 
on the four corners of the ledge of the altar, and on the gate posts of the gate of the inner court. And so you shall do on the seventh day of the month, for every one who has sinned unintentionally or in ignorance. Thus you shall make atonement for the temple. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, you shall observe the Passover. A. Feast of seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten. And on that day the prince shall prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bull for a sin offering. On the seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to the Lord, seven bulls and seven rams without blemish, daily for seven days, and a kid of the ghost daily for a sin offering. And he shall prepare a grain offering, one ff for each bull, and one ff for each ram, together with a hint of oil for each ff. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, at the feast, he shall do likewise for seven days, according to the sin offering, the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the oil. April 25th, 2020, 11.05 p.m. The Manner of Worship The Manner of Worship Ezekiel, chapter 46, verses 1 through 15. Thus says the Lord God, the gateway of the inner court that faces toward the east shall be shut the sick working shall be shut the sick toward the east. The gateway of the inner court that faces toward the east shall be shut the six working days. And on the Sabbath shall be opened, and on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the way the vegetable of the gateway to the outside and stand by the big gate post. The priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings. He shall worship at the threshold of the gate. And he shall go out, but the gate shall not be shut until evening. Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the entrance of this gateway before the Lord on the Sabbath and on the new moons. The burnt offering that the prince offers to the Lord on the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish, and the grain offering shall be one half for a ram, and the grain offering for the lambs as much as he wants to give, as well as a hand of oil with every half. On the day of the new moon it shall be a young bull without blemish, six lambs, and a ram. They shall be without blemish. He shall prepare a grain offering of FF for a bull, and FF for a ram, as much as he wants to give for the lambs, and a hint of oil with every FF. When the prince enters, he shall go in by the way of the rest of the gateway, and go out the same way. But when the people of the land come before the Lord on the appointed feast days, rivers enter by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out by the way of the south gate. And whoever is entered by the way of the south gate shall go out by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by way of the gate through which he came, but he shall go out through the opposite gate. The prince shall be then shall then be in their midst. When they go in, he shall go in. And when they go out, he shall go out. At the festivals and the appointed feast days, the grain offering shall be an FF for a bull, an FF for a ram, as much as he wants to give for the lambs, and a hint of oil with every FF. Now when the prince makes a voluntary burnt offering or a voluntary peace offering to the Lord, the gate that faces toward the east shall then be open for him, and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, as he did on the Sabbath day. And he shall go out, and after he goes out, the gate shall be shut. You shall daily make a burnt offering to the Lord of the Lamb of the first shore without but the first year without blemish, he shall prepare it every morning. He shall prepare a grain offering with it every morning, a sixth of an FF and a third of a hen of oil to moist the fine flour. This grain offering is a perpetual ordinance to be made regular to the Lord. Thus they shall prepare the lamb, the grain offering, and the oil as a regular burnt offering every morning. April 25, 2020, 11.08 p.m. The Prince and Inheritance Laws the Prince and Inheritance Laws. Ezekiel, chapter 46, verses 16 through 18. Thus says the Lord God, If the Prince gives a gift of some inheritance to any of his sons, it shall belong to his sons, it is their possession by inheritance. But if he gives a gift of some of his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his until the year of liberty, after which it shall return to the Prince. But his inheritance shall belong to his sons, it shall become theirs. Moreover, the prince shall not take any of the people's inheritance by evicting them from their property. He shall provide inheritance for his sons 
from his own property so that none of my people may be scattered from his property. April 25, 2020 at 11.09 p.m. How the offerings were prepared. How the offerings were prepared. Ezekiel chapter 46 verses 19 through 24. Now he brought me through the entrance which was at the side of the gate into the holy chambers of the priests which faced toward the north and there was a place situated at their extreme west end. He said to me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the trespass offering and the sin offering and where they shall bake the grain offering so that they do not bring them out into the outer court to sanctify the people. Then he brought me out into the outer court and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court. And in fact, in every corner of the court there was another court. In the four corners of the court were enclosed courts, forty cubits long and thirty wide. All four corners were the same size. There were a row of building stones all around in them, all around the four of them. And cooking hearths were made under the rows of stones all around. He said to me, These are the kitchens where the minister of the temple shall boil the sacrifices of the people. Okay, folks and family, I have a sermon for you by Benjamin Faircloth. And I listened to the sermon on April 26, 2020 at 3.10 p.m. This is Benjamin Faircloth. And the message he had, Never Never Land, for April 26, 2020. Never Never Land. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below. This YouTube video link, you see this in here. I'm going to go ahead and give you the word he gave me that day. This is uh, Hosea chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. See your brethren, my people, and your sisters, mercy is shown. Bring charges against your mother, bring charges. For she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. Let her put away her lotteries from her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Let's not strip her naked and expose her as in the day she was born, and make her like a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy on her children, for they are the children of her lottery. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and wall her in, so that she cannot find her paths. She will chase her lovers, but not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiply her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore I will return and take away my grain in this time, and my new wine in this season, and will take back my wool and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall deliver her from my hand. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, all her appointed feasts, and I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, of which she has said, These are my wages that my lovers have given me. So I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. I will punish her for the days of the bales to which she burned incense. She decked herself with earrings and jewelry, and went after her lovers. But me she forgot, says the Lord. All right, folks and family, that's the word for day, part three, for April 26, 2020. Once again, the word for day, part three, April 26, 2020. This is the weekly sermon. You actually got a two-for-one special today. Today is Thursday, July 30th, 2020 at 11.32 a.m. This is once again Raymond X, the prophet, coming from my apartment bedroom in Sunny Ocala, Florida. God bless you all this weekend as you go about your days. Worship God in spirit and truth. Read your Bibles. Pray, 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 pray till you can't ever get another word out of your mouth. Take communion on a daily basis. Bread and cup. God bless you all today. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Get ready. This is your day of salvation. Your day of redemption. Your day of repentance. Your, day, your decision day. 
God loves you and so do I very much. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Get ready. I love you all very much, and I will see you on the next video upload, Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Remember, Jesus is Lord, and He's coming soon. Bye-bye.